Hello, hello, I am Laura. Welcome back to my channel. This is Confident Notions, and I have some bags under my eyes today. Anywho, so as you know, it is early morning. I think it's early morning, 7.44, and I am filming a haul for you before my meeting start today. All right. <laughs> so for those of you who are new here, welcome. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. So as I was saying, for those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are old, welcome. <laughs> um, so I do have a haul video for you today. This is kind of a collective haul. Some of these are souvenirs that I got while we were in Vegas. So I told y'all my husband and I went to Vegas last week, had a lovely time. Um, he ended up down, I ended up up playing like the most ridiculous slot machines. Anyways, so I was up and then I spent it on stuff. So I'll show you what I ended up getting. Uh, yeah, and then when we got home on the red eye, I had to go to Costco. So we got some Costco stuff here and then I went to Target that same day. So this is all of that stuff all together here. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you what I picked up in Vegas. I'm gonna show you some other Costco stuff and we'll just have a lovely time. We'll drink some coffee. Listen to the dog bark outside. Hope that my husband lets the dog in. Or she's just gonna bark through this whole video. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen, right? But, and my coffee and it's good to go. Gonna throw out yet another subtle plug for this Mr. Coffee cup warmer. As you can see, it is well used. Keeps your coffee warm. I got one upstairs and one downstairs. And they've raised the price on those. Those used to be like eight bucks and now they're like 15, but well, they're worth it. They ain't worth every penny. All right, let's start off. First things first, I went to the outlet mall. So I went to the Las Vegas like premium outlet mall. I wasn't sure what we we're going to find there. I did end up buying myself a pair of Birkenstocks, which I, I, I've been wearing them. They're great. So I did buy myself a pair of Birkenstocks, but but one of the things they had there, it is the like Las Vegas fight store and it is a store themed for like all things boxing. Now, for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while or those of you who know me in real life, you know that my all time favorite movie, easily top three, might be number one, is Rocky Four. That's right, Rocky Four. Not one, not two, certainly not three, but Rocky Four. Four. Lose my shit every time it's on. All time favorite. Well, let me tell you something, folks. I walked in to that store and do you know what I saw? I saw the most epic thing ever. <laughs> Y'all, I screamed. When I tell you I screamed in the middle of the store and that poor child who is like man in the station, he's like, ma'am, are you okay? And I'm like, oh my God, it's Rocky Four. Holy shit. Ah! I, it didn't matter. This thing could have been seven, it could have been $70 for this. It wasn't. I would have bought it. Oh my God. I told my husband, I was like, I'm going to be buried in this shirt. He's like, don't wear it on the plane. I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Their shirts were three for $65. And I know that this is a t-shirt. And you're like, Laura, have you lost your mind? You spent three for $65 for three t-shirts. Yes, I did. And I would have probably spent 65 <laughs> Look, this this shit was coming home with me one way or the other. I am so excited about this. Like, I can't even put it into words. So, because it was three fur, there was definitely two that I wanted. The other one that I had to get was this. The Rocky and Apollo. Right. Okay, you know I love me some Stallone too, right? I just love me some Stallone. So, we've got Rocky here. So, we got some... We got some Rocky Balboa, we got some Apollo Creed, old school, right here. Love it in the white, even though I don't wear white clothes normally because it's not good for my coloring. But for Rocky, I'll make an exception. And then the third, other third one I got, like Rocky versus Apollo. And I just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, y'all. I can't even. I was losing it in there. And... It was really weird because I think, I don't know the history of the store and I probably should look it up so I could tell like a better story about it. But 
there was a lot of like theme stuff. It was all like Bruce Lee, Muhammad Ali. There was some Rocky stuff, but it wasn't the big one. Like Joe Frazier. And then like Randy Macho Man Savage. There are so many like Randy Macho Man Savage shirts in there. I was just like blown away. I have a feeling there's probably, I, I don't know, it seems like a really unlikely like pair, quote, like quad of folks to come together. But there's a lot of Randy Macho Man Savage shirts there. And I mean, I am here for some old school wrestling, but when I saw the Rocky shirts, like all bets were off. It was, it was, all bets were off there, folks. All of them. So I picked up those. Then, of course, I did get some like cheesy ones. I will insert a picture here if I can find it. Hopefully, I remember to do it. But I found this one shirt, and if if I didn't have like people like my age who are grandmas, I would have bought it. And it said it was like glitter, and it's like um, like bejeweled, and it said "Grandma's Gone Wild" with wine glasses on it. And if I would have worn that ironically, because I'm not a grandma, because I thought it was hysterical, but. Like, I could be a grandma, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> couldn't do it. Um, I picked up this fantastic reusable bag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Love it. I think this was, like, $3.99 at one of the stores that, like, sells weed and shirts. Every place sells weed and shirts in Vegas now. It's just everywhere. It's glorious. Anyways. Um... So for the, the souvenir shirts, and my husband actually didn't end up coming home with any. Um, he's like, I don't like any of these. I'm like, okay, boo, you get you. Uh, so I did pick up this one for me. Yeah, it's a lot of black t-shirts, I feel you. So I picked up this one, it was like $12.99. That's my souvenir t-shirt. And this one here, it was the part of like the two for 25 and I could have gotten the grandma shirt, but I didn't. So I did get this one as well. Um, I think this was also $12.95, but I like this one because it had like a, um, like this quilted on it, but it was these like gems here that were in the Grandma's Gone Wild shirt. It looked very similar to this one, which I got from Morgan. Like, <laughs> I, I, I can't help myself. I love like cheesy souvenirs. And if they had a shirt that said like, my mom went to Vegas and all I got was this lousy t-shirt, I would 100% buy it for her and put it on her. Like, until she can read, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I got this one from Morgan, which is spectacular. And I would have 100% bought that in my size if that existed. Sadly, it did not. And I did. Oh, and I also grabbed a keychain as well. I don't know why. I love me some souvenir keychains. So I picked up this Vegas one. It's because I lost one. I was so bummed out. I lost... So on my key ring, I have just two. I have... A souvenir keychain from the Paris Opera House when I was there and then one from um, Westminster Abbey when I was there and I lost the Paris one I heard something like I knew it was like half falling off and I heard it clatter like I heard something fall off my keychain a couple of days ago anyways it was that and it's gone and I'm super bummed out about it but so I got this Vegas one to replace it definitely not the same as like the Paris Opera House but um, you know Cheapy Las Vegas keychain. Loved it. All right. What else did I get in Vegas? I picked up, oh, went to the outlet mall, right? Couldn't really find anything that like jived with me there, but I did end up at the Gap outlet. Um, yeah, I'm in between sizes now. I'm just gonna say that instead of saying I look fat and everything I tried on. Anyways, I got a pair of white shorts because I don't have any white shorts. So this was like 20 bucks, I think. 50% um, off white shorts at the Gap outlet. And then I also picked up Morgan this really cute, like stripey outfit. Cause I am, I don't know why I'm on this huge, like matching pants and top kick for her. This is like the third matching top and pants, um, like, bikey short outfit that I bought her this season and she doesn't care but I think they're adorable and it's not monochromatic like because it would all be one color if it was monochromatic but I just love a matching top and bottom on her it's very in right now and I'm feeling it not for myself unless it was all black in which case I would look like I'm a stagehand or something um but all right next up um ooh, my Mentos 
my Mentos. Needed those. Oops, we got a little bag. A little bag from Caesar's Palace because I had to get a drink. We went to the buffet at Caesar's Palace, the Bacchanal buffet. Shit was good. It was real good. Let me tell you. All right. Um, this, for me, I decided to get myself a new summer purse at Kate Spade. And so I thought this was really nice. Just a nice blue leather, um, almost like a, it's not rattan, it's, but it almost has that like wickery look about it. Uh, I'm not using the right word. Like, a, you know what I mean? Anyways, I thought this was a really nice summery purse. You, it has this strap to go with it, and then it also comes with this longer one. Oh, what's this? It comes to you with this little, what the hell are you putting here? Mentos? I didn't even know that existed. Where'd this strap come from? Anyway, so it has this other strap too, to go along with it. Oh, this is cute. I don't know what the hell you put in here. Chapstick? Chapstick. Chapstick. I'm gonna put chapstick in here. That's a great idea, Laura. Um, so I picked that up. This here, you know, because you know, anytime you go to the outlet mall, they're always like, oh, it's 60% off or 70% off or whatever. I think this was like originally $400. Um, and you're like, Jesus, Laura, like, here's the thing. I hit, I had a bonus on a slot machine that gave me 205 free games. I won 400 bucks on it. And then I went shopping. So come you don't you don't go to vegas to come home to pay your bills you come home to vegas i was up i spent my up money as as one does in vegas um and then i also picked up this really cute kate spade wallet um my my everyday wallet is kate spade and has been for quite some time um my mother-in-law bought me a new one for christmas but i like this one um i was having problems with the size of my wallet in the crossbody that i was wearing um and so I went looking for another crossbody is how I partially ended up with this one. But I really like this wallet here because it's very like slim. It only has like a handful of spots for cards, a um, little place for money, ID, all of that goodness here. Place for change as well. Um, so yeah, I like this. This was just a nice little fun wallet. I almost bought the purse that matched this, but I thought it might be a little too springy. A little too bright for my normal like dark personality i guess so i grabbed that as well which was hella cute that's what i got at kate spade i think that's not all i got for vegas that's all i got at vegas including my brooks but that's about it all right moving on costco okay here's what i got at costco we got a chicken y'all know what costco chicken looks like um i got pull-ups i got sparkling water we got some bay. So ooh, they had a good deal in the bay. It was like 12 bottles for $13.95, which is a great price on the bay. I bought a six pack for $10 at Walmart not too long ago. So that's so great. Anyways, the other thing that I did pick up was this two pack of the cold mugs. And you're like, Laura, where's the other one? I've been drinking out of it. I got home a couple days ago. It's already Friday. So I like this. This was only $20 for this here. Um, it's a 40 ounce cold mug. So you get a two pack of these, three in one lid, um, up to 34 hours cold, dishwasher safe, and it fits the cup holder. And the reason why I got this is we have a ton of cups, but they aren't like, they aren't insulated. And so the your drink gets warm really fast which is gross right and so um this does not i've already i've been there was a white one that went with it it's over there i can't reach it my arm will shake as i look over there but anyways um it's great it's a fantastic drink mug it's heavy too like when you put ice and water in here you can do like hammer curls with it it's pretty good anyways these were 20 bucks and i thought 10 bucks a piece for that was a fine fine price folks i also grabbed um, so if you see them, they're out there now. So Costco has their towels. So this is what? This is OSP Ocean Pacific um, beach towel, 40 by 72 inches, $12.99. It's a great price for a beach towel. We have had some of our beach towels for a very long time, at least 10 years. So my child is obsessed with the beach and she asks every day if we're taking her to the beach and I have to explain every day 
that we live two and a half hours from the beach, so no. We do have pools here. So I picked up another one of these. It has flamingos on it. I'm low-key obsessed with flamingos right now. I don't know why. So anyways, I grabbed that as well. Then she was with me um, because we came in on the red eye. So my husband and I were taking turns like getting some sleep because I don't sleep on planes. I, I don't sleep on planes. I'm going to tell you, I've slept, I don't sleep on planes. It could be a cross country. It could be like trans. It could be like across the ocean. I don't sleep on planes. It doesn't matter. It could be four in the morning, like regular time. I can't sleep on a plane. So I don't even try anymore. I just download like a bunch of books like so I have Kindle Unlimited through Amazon so I just download a bunch of books and I just read the whole time anyways so we got home my husband took the first nap I took a three and a half hour nap and then I took Morgan to Costco that was all my sleep I got for that day um she is obsessed with Paw Patrol right now obsessed she loves Marshall it's precious so she saw these Paw Patrol pajamas. It's like, Morgan, you have 700 pairs of pajamas right now. She's like, I want some Paw Patrol pajamas. I'm like, okay, fine. So it's a two set and it's short sleeves and shorts for both of them, which is good because today she was wearing a flannel nightgown. I was like, Morgan, it's 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 summer. Do you really want to wear a form, like a flannel nightgown? She's like, yes, I do. So maybe this will entice her. Oh, this is long pants. So it's it's shorts and long pants and shorts and top. So maybe this will entice her to wear something else. The other thing that I will say, for those of you who have no call it out, so this is a boy's cut, I guess, which drives me crazy because this is cut so much larger than the girls' clothes and I don't understand why. Like, it's ridiculous. So this is going to be hella big on her because if she's barely a 4T and the boy's cut is bigger. So she's going to like that. Then for me, I picked up the infamous, I don't say infamous, but this has been going around a while, but the, um, I'm not like super chill on Disney, but I am down for a pair of pajamas. So short sleeve shorts, pajamas. I don't like tank top pajamas. I think it's weird. I don't like tank tops regardless. Also, I feel like if you go to sleep and like in a tank top, like you you just wake up and your boob falls out. So I'm not down with that. Um, but this was really cute. I think these were like $16.99. They were a little pricey for a pair of pajamas, but I'll, I'll be honest. Like if you try to get a pair of pajamas, like a pajama set at Target is like $25. And I know because it makes me ragey. So I'm like, oh, it's $16.99. That's cheaper. Whereas for kids, you get a two-pack for $12.99. So I picked up those for me. A couple of other things. I think that's all I got in the Costco haul. I got baby carrots also. We got carrots and a watermelon. That's what I got. All right. And then that night, we went to... I went to Target. I had to do a pickup. I had to do a Target pickup and I hit up the dollar spot. And let me tell you, they had some nice stuff in the dollar spot. First thing I saw, this was really cute. It's a frozen sidewalk decals. So it's like temporary tattoos that you put on your sidewalk and then you color them with chalk. So you like, there's eight of them in here and you dampen it and then it like makes the imprint on your sidewalk and then the kid can color it with chalk. This was three bucks. I was like, well, that's cool. This is minutes of fun for her. So I thought that was adorable. Pick that up. If they'd have had Paw Patrol, like she, all bets would have been off on that one. Though, let me tell you. Speaking of Paw Patrol, I got her a grab and go bag. I also got her a bigger one of these too, like the $3 version. She's already played with it. Um, and then I picked up this. And, like, do I have tons of bags? Yes, but look, it's a little tampon pouch for a dollar. I was like, this is cute. People going back to the office soon, right? My office does not open until September 7th. I've never been to the office. I've never been to my office. Well, partially because I work remote now, but it's not open. Like it's not open to go to. I have not met in person a single person I work with, except the guy that I hired who I used to work with previously. And then like we live near each other. So I've met him, but, and I knew him before. But anyways, look, this is privacy, please. It's a little zipper pouch and you can put, oh, you can only put small tampons in here. You can only put compact tampons. But look, it's like a little tampon cigarette case and you fold it up over on it. Thank you. I thought that was precious. And then I got this snacks and stuff bag. Like I need another bag. But I thought sometimes you just need like a bag. You just need a bag that's smaller that you can like shove in your purse. 
it doesn't take up a ton of space and that's what and it folds up easily and that's what this one does and it says snacks and stuff and really i bought it because it said snacks and stuff that's cute three bucks on that one i think and then the last thing i picked up from target it's this tech storage box also for three dollars but look you can like fold up your charger cords and your um the wall charger and then it, there's like a spot on there for your phone i thought that was really cool you never know when you need to keep stuff organized. I probably got this one because I was sleep deprived and two, I'd just come back from Vegas. I was like, all my stuff is everywhere. I need to organize it. All my cords got tangled in my bag. That's probably what happened. But yeah, at first, I'll be honest, like I thought it was a bento box. I was like, and then like my hungry self was like, ooh, look, it's a bento box. We can put some sushi in here. But it is, it's like a bento box for your cords. And so it's got this little flappy thing here. How does this work? Oh look, you take the top off, you put your phone in here, and then it's got like a little compartment. That's cute. Look at that. It is, and it moves back and forth. It's like a little bento box for your tech. I love it. Love it. All right, last handful of things before I left. Um, Peloton Apparel was having a sale. Peloton Apparel was having a sale. Let's just leave it at that. So I picked up this shirt here. This is part of their collaboration, the Adidas Peloton collaboration. And, and it's, this is a unisex one. I got this one in a large, right? So Peloton, Adidas, again, another black shirt. I have a problem, it's okay. Then this here, this is actually a little cropped more so than I thought it would be, but this is a, it says Peloton Navy pullover. And I thought this was actually gonna be a sweatshirt, not like a pullover pullover. I did get this in an extra large, um, because I thought it was going to be a sweatshirt, which I am glad I did because it is definitely cropped. And um, so just a plain old Peloton like one here. All of these were like 30% off. And then the last thing I bought was this sweatshirt, which actually was a sweatshirt. And it is the Peloton Adidas collab. Uh, this is a nice sweatshirt. This is a real nice sweatshirt. So Adidas brand. I got this in an extra large. And it's not like the thick it's not like the fleecy um sweatshirt material which i appreciate and it's got um like peloton down the down the arm as well so so yeah that's it that is my haul that was me rambling on for a while so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked all of my crap that is no spread around me so just some of the things i picked up over the last couple of weeks so i hope you're doing well i hope you're all staying safe i hope you are having a fantastic summer what do they call it hot vax summer which doesn't sound great instead we're calling it chubby mom summer so anyways i hope you're having a fantabulous time um please don't forget like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and i will see you soon